Welcome everyone to night time in the market district of the Imperial City. Today we're doing a quest, but we're doing a bit of a different quest. Today we are going to be, in essence, sort of completing the independent thievery quest. I, uh, in this quest, um, Arm Armand told me that he won't, this is a thieves guild quest, obviously, um, Armand, the essentially, not, not the actual leader, but one of the, uh, I forgot what they're call, called, maybe a doyen or something like that, but essentially one of the leaders, Armand Christophe, the, 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 the leader in of the Thieves Guild, essentially within the Waterfront District, uh, told me that he won't have any commission jobs for me until I sell more stolen property to Ongar the Fence. I'll need about 500 gold worth of stolen goods before he will trust me sufficiently. Um, and I, I, I have actually apparently reached this goal already. Um, 50 gold worth, I think I might have said 500 there. But I have reached this goal, but I can, I can tell you that after every single quest that you do in the Thieves Guild, they're going to tell you to just keep on going back and selling more stuff, and the eventual uh, max amount of gold that you're supposed to sell is a thousand gold, which really isn't a lot, like in the slightest, but I'm going to make sure I reach that point in this episode today, um, and then I might also do a couple other small things at the end of this. And I'm also not wearing my heavy armor right now because well i'm not gonna have to fight anyone in this episode and i don't i thought i thought i had like actual thieves guild armor but i i apparently don't so i'm just wearing my dark brotherhood stuff just because whatever and god does it feel f nice to be able to run again so today we're in the market district for shut the fuck up um, we're in the market district because, well, the market district is where you can get a shit ton of good stuff. And what's going to be a good store to rob? Black Horse Courier? No. Three Brothers? No. Good as new? No. Warehouse? Warehouse could be interesting, but I don't really think they have anything in their feedback. No. Red Diamond Jewelry is always a fantastic place to, to, to steal from. Main ingredient, maybe. Fighting Chance, maybe. Martinson? Not really. Uh, first edition, no copious coin purse. They don't really have a lot of stuff on display. Rindir staffs, probably. Discount spells, I don't think so, but maybe. Similar shields, not really. Um, Gilded Carafe is another one. They have potions and shit. Mystic Emporium, I don't think they have much there. Yeah, so pretty much just those two or three places. But the jewelry store, I mean, that's always a that's always a must. When you're going, whenever you're going for on a heist. Oh. Okay. Why the fuck are you still awake, bruh? Um. You know what? We're gonna make this interesting and do this while he's here. Oh, needs a key. Curious. Curious. Well, this may be a terrible idea trying to do this while he's awake. And I'll probably end up regretting it. But maybe I won't. You never know. <laughs> he's right fucking there. It's a good thing my stealth is good. But if, if you're also trying to complete this quest, then yeah, I would definitely recommend going to these places. But if your stealth isn't very good at the time... Sorry. Yeah, exactly. As I was saying, if your stealth isn't very good at the time, even though my stealth is pretty good, um, then just go in like when it's like genuinely nighttime, like the middle, like the dead of night, not 10 a.m. like I just did or 10 p.m. like I just did. Who the fuck is seeing? Who the fuck sees me? Hello? Y'all are mad at me, right? Ah, it's good to see yeah, it's good to see me. Y'all love me. Big fan. Big fan. Um. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck did that happen? Oop. Wrong button. Alright, now he's asleep. Alright, now let's now let's get to the get to the good stuff now. And yeah, it's weird, because you can get spotted, but like they don't actually care. At least not right away. 
they'll just tell you to get out. And also another really good thing in here is that you can open each and every one of these counters. Granted, these are all very hard locks, so my lock picking is very good. I suggest that you bring a lot of lock picks if it is not, or that you just get the, um, the skeleton key before you go do this, something like this, but again, I am very good, so I am not so very worried. That's kind of annoying that you can still see all of the things in there, but whatever. Now, apparently the ones that they have on display aren't really worth too much, but they're still worth the good enough amount. The ones that need a key, I'm guessing, are going to be worth the most. So I think I'm going to try and get that key from him while he's asleep. Yeah, because a lot of this stuff is only actually worth like 20 pound, 20 cents, or 20 fucking coin. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll leave it closed. Have some decency. Uh, all right, let's check the basement. Not expecting there to be much down here, but maybe there will be. Well, look at that gold amulet. Slightly in ooh, flawed emerald. All right, well these these are worth a little bit. It all adds up. It all adds up. Yeah, unfortunately, just regular. Oh, <laughs> um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna take the clothing too, <laughs> just because. We're taking it all. All right, that's good enough. Yeah, weird sometimes that that shit just like seeps through. But yeah, unfortunately that just regular gold that you pick up doesn't count, but whatever. Also the game, it does, oh, and he's got skooma. Oh my God, dude, you are a gold mine. Yeah, but because it is how much you sell, like the amount of money that you get in return for it, your merchandise skill does matter quite a good amount, quite a good amount, um, which mine is at 100, so I'm going to get much better prices than others would if you are doing this quest early in the game. Why am I searching all these chests? Sorry, fuck it. Rule number one of lock pick of pickpocketing, always safe before. God. Yep. For that precise reason. Before and during. Ooh, alright. I mean if you don't do that, like come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. Two hundred gold, another two hundred gold. This is where the big bucks come in. Now, let me get up top here. There we go. 30, 80, uh, 30, 20. God, it's annoying to, cap to grab these. Six, 160, 160. 50 and 200 and that is a lot of money um all right and another place i wanted to hit up was the gilded graph which is right there but seems like there's another thief My out and about how about you ma'am are honestly kind of fucking beautiful i ain't gonna lie Folks in this city got plenty of gold. Take from the rich and give to the poor. And she's and she's in the thieves guild. Ah oh, man, this is this is this is hey, the one for me right here. The Damn right. 
All right, Carwin, have a good day. But, uh, you know, the face, like, the face is just perfection, but then, like, what is the fit? What is this fit? Like, just, just rock all Thieves Guild. If you're, if you're gonna go with the Thieves Guild vibe, just go all Thieves Guild. Y'all always gotta overcomplicate shit. Yeah, this place is a, um, as you can tell, this place is potion shop, so they have, well, and potions are worth just so much in this game. And, you know, I'm also going to take the Alembics, just because those are, they may be pretty heavy, but they're also worth a decent amount. Like, each potion is like 79. 79, uh, gold. Alright, maybe not everyone, but a lot of them are. Sixteen, sixteen, not bad. And they have an earn root, which is always nice. Hmm. Yeah, I was, I was a little scared this would happen. Sorry, just gonna brew a couple minotaur horns. Um. Yeah, we'll explore the rest of the house. Might as well. While I'm at it, you know. Yeah, she's got some. She got some nice ingredients down here. All right. Now let's go invade her privacy. Hello, madam. Fuck it. Take the whole bowl and the skull, apparently. Why do you even have a skull? Like, that's just kind of concerning. Like, a skull is not an ingredient for any potion. I mean, what kind of person just has a fucking skull in their house? Hmm, alright. Alright, well, we're underweight now, but that's not going to last very long. as well. <sighs> ah, fine. I guess I'm gonna throw on the heavy boots. And then I'll just run around essentially but naked. lady's gonna be so confused <laughs> all right Claudette oh my god you have so much gold that's gonna take like 30 tries to get if I can even do it I wish this game like Skyrim did shows you like a percentage chance of getting it because this could be like a 5% chance or something just absurdly small all right let's start off with the other stuff Still found it. Pickpocket! Pickpocket! Alright. One down. Let's go. Alright. Now the, just the difficult one. God, the way she just like breathed in so deeply. Filthy. Filthy pickpocket. Keep your... Oh, my lord. Ooh. Oh, my god. I genuinely did not think it was possible. 
it's a you know it's a little cheatsy i'm not gonna lie it's a little cheatsy but whatever you know there's not really a lot of fun in just getting caught like that you know Anyway, uh, 35 more pounds. All right, we'll, we'll hit up Rendere's staff as well. We might as well. Don't ask why I'm butt naked. All right, what have we in here? Needs a, really, that needs a key for that. That's stupid. I mean, where are all the staffs? It's supposed to be a staff store. I can't even reach in and grab the staffs from there. I mean, at least tell me this is going to level me up. Well, I think it would if I hadn't already read it. Really, you can see the staffs, but you can't actually get the staffs. Ooh, okay, this is, this is promising. Surprised this one doesn't require a key. Unfortunately, I've already read that. Ooh, chest. Very hard chest, hmm. Or three gold. Woo woo. Generally just surprised that that needs a key. Oh, well, let's check out the basement. Maybe they'll have something of value. Surely there has to be one staff I can actually steal from here. Surely in the locked chest, the fancy locked chest in the basement. Surely this is gonna have more than like a weapon and maybe, yep, okay, of course it's, of course it's just that. Of course, of course, of course, okay, whatever. <laughs> this is a pretty fancy upper area. I was not expecting this. I will be stealing any of your expensive wine. Wine, oddly enough, is another thing that I... Uh... What the fuck are you doing awake, bro? What, what time is it? <laughs> How do I check the time? Oh, wow, it is already six, six in the morning. Well, um, apparently he just likes me enough and is like, yeah, nah, he's a homie. He would never steal. Do you have calipers locked away, bruh? Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna happen eventually. Fuck it, we'll drop the clothing in here. I don't actually want the clothing. Alright. Oh, well, that's not exactly what I wanted either, but that's okay. Take his shopping list too. All right. Well, this guy didn't really have a lot. And I'm still trespassing, but he's down here now, which makes us slightly nerve-wracking. Now I do want to pickpocket him still too. At least to get the key. 
Okay, got the key. The gold would be nice too. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was easy. Like that's like this isn't even worth anything. Why is this locked, but not the other one? Oh, he saw me at the very last second there, actually. <laughs> um. All right. Well, I am just interested. I'm not actually going to rob the entire place here. I just want to see if there's anything good on the first floor. But if the guy's awake, then... Yeah, I'm out of here. That would be... Uh, that would be a good place to steal from, but I am also very, very encumbered right now. So it's time to sell. Greeting, sir. Uh, no. Oh, look at me. Oh. Yeah, this... Apparently, this is only 20% chameleon. I look pretty damn invisible, I'm not gonna lie. I see. I see you're with the gray what? fox, too. Yeah, my favorite customer. Ooh, what? I'm your favorite, apparently. Oh, you're a journeyman, really? Alright, 74%? And. I can't make that. Well, I only actually want to sell my illegal stuff to that. him. But I will sell just these arrows, just to, just to see what kind of prices he'll give me. I can't make Holy fuck, dude! What can you do? That's a good. All right, can you do sixty-nine? Can he do sixty-nine? All right. Sixty-nine is where he puts the line at. Yeah, it'll just kind of randomly tell me how much. Uh, I've stolen goods, I've sold. That's but I think I'm gonna pass a thousand right now. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm most certainly passing a thousand right now. I think I can check the exact amount afterwards too in the settings. Oh, I do want to sell the Draconian Madstone just to get it back. I'm gonna sell all the other stuff first. Oh, I shouldn't sell that one. Just to, you know, make sure I uh, can save the game. Because I don't want to give it to him and then not be able to get back or something stupid like that. Because when you sell something, look, I'm already well, well past a thousand. I was nearly at two thousand already. But yeah, I think when you sell an item, um, sell an illegal item and then purchase it back, it becomes a good legal to own. Which is nice. Doesn't really make sense, but it's nice. I think I should have checked how much I had already, <laughs> how much illegal goods I had already sold, because it might have actually been a pretty good amount. Um, I'm gonna breathe all that into potions anyway, so I'm not gonna bother. Because it doesn't actually need to be sold to this guy. I think it can be sold to anyone, really. Um, all right, I don't actually want these handbills now that I think about it. There you go, bud. Have all these random dudes shopping lists. Motherfucker must think I'm crazy or something. Um, yeah, I'll sell you, actually. Over 6,000 gold. You're welcome, bud. I just made you so much money. Alright, let's go back to the heavy armor now. And for the looks, we'll take that off. So, oh my god, look at my security. So, so freaking close. <laughs> Items stolen, 2,564. That's a lot. Well, it appears I can't actually find that information, which is really freaking stupid, but whatever. But yeah, so I have, in essence, I have completed, I may have already done it, to be honest, but in essence, I have completed the, actually, no, I definitely hadn't, because the first one was at like 600 when it first updated, but in essence, I have completed the independent three thievery quest. Um, it's just, it's not going to keep updating because I need to actually do the entire Thieves Guild quest in order to technically complete that thing. Uh, in, in order to technically complete this quest, but it is essentially done. 
all the actual work involved in it is done. Um, and now, now I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna go to Battlehorn Castle and make some stuff there. And then after I do this, I will complete. I will sell the rest of my stuff. Um, excuse me. That's his dog. That's his dog. <laughs> don't go killing the. Don't go killing the man's dog. It texted Remy Lady. What is it? Create a trophy. All right, we can make a bear. Uh, what is it? What? Uh, I can make a minotaur. Oh, I damn it! I shouldn't have made all those potions. It's all right. You don't well, what do I have? I have a mountain line. What is? I have. have... God damn it! <laughs> True. Ah. Oh, I didn't even listen to a single thing she said. I think I think she said it was supposed to be like a day. Unfortunately, I sold way too much stuff. Or I brewed too many potions, rather. But tis what it is. What is it? Um. Mm. Yeah, all right. Well, I think there should be some more stuff out there. I heard you know how to move in light armor. I do, but I'm wearing heavy, which I do not know how to move in. Oh, 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 oh. All right, well, there's at least one, two. We have the bear. Looks pretty tight, not gonna lie. We got the mountain lion, which is a lot cooler. Because it actually has, like, an entire environment for it. Like, that's fucking sick. I could have sworn there were at least one other that I had done. How are you? But maybe not. could have sworn I did three right then. Oh, and I also want to check... I'm going to write down on my phone what ingredients I need for, like, the wine and for the... Um, is, the wine, is the wine the only other thing? I don't know. What other ingredients I need for other stuff, though? Oh, boy, all right. I just created the list, and I've wrote down, checkmarked, rather, all the stuff that I already have. I can't, unfortunately, make any of the wines yet, um, but I'm, I'm, I'll get there eventually, and I'm probably just going to not make any potions. Um, uh, nah, I, won't, I won't do that. that that's too much work. But I just gotta be very careful when I make potions to not brew the wrong shit. Yeah, and you know, I'm also really, really hoping that... Well, actually, yeah, I guess I don't really care that much, because I'm probably not going to drink these wines anyway. But I'm really hoping that it's not like, Oh, thanks for getting me enough for one bottle. Let me... If you want another one, come go get a million more of this shit. Like, that's just, that's just annoying. Um, but anyway, now I'm just going to go sell... Uh, the rest of my stuff, my non-illegal stuff, and then th and then that will, could be the uh, the end of the episode. Well, all right, we are. What are we about at now? One hundred forty-three thousand gold. Oh, and hopefully that guy will accept stolen goods. The guy for the wines. I think he will. Hopefully he will, though. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop freaking out so much about the... Having so many arrows. But anyway, that is gonna do it for this video. We stole a good amount of stuff. We only really robbed from three stores, but one store didn't really have a lot of stuff. So we only really robbed from two stores. Um, if you are gonna rob from a third store... If you are going to rob from three stores, feel the need to when you're doing the independent thief request. I I always recommend Di Red Diamond. I always recommend the Gilded Graph. But I'd probably also... The third one, probably the Mystic Emporium, to be honest. I think when I walked in there for the two seconds I was in there, they seemed to have a lot more stuff than the Rindare Staffs. I feel like every time I rob Rindare Staffs, I, I always get disappointed because, you know, you can't actually steal a single staff. So if you could steal any staffs, like... That'd be, like, 500 gold that you'd get from each staff, which would be a lot better, but whatever. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys 
in the next video. Goodbye. Because I don't want to see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. Or my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you. Because I don't want to see the glow without you. Refuse to even leave my home without you. Or my brain's gonna explode without you. I don't even know how to cope without you.